Ho ho, what's up? So here we are with another one of these uh, sort of, you know, face to face, we get to talk, you know. Just to jump right into it, I hear some of you aren't confident with going to Asian grocery stores for the first time, so I figured I'd give you four tips and then maybe some honorable mentions to some stuff, maybe just to get your kind of foot in the door at these places. So starting off with number one, everyone talks about how they love Asian food because it feels so exotic and it, you know, I guess that, that scratches the similar itch to us, you know, in our desire to travel. Everyone always talks about it. You know, you have the, you have the girl with like the little airplane and like the little, she's got like the globe on her back or something. And um, you know, you talk this big game about loving to travel. You have this multicultural experience in several areas of your city, wherever you're living. And we're talking like at minimum, three different cultures with vast varieties of their signature ingredients, foods, whatever. It's an incredible time for you to tap into your adventurous side and just hype yourself up. As long as we're excited about it, I think that there's plenty to be gained. It's all about trying something new. Like for me, I always go for like Pocky, which are like the little like stick, like pretzel almost, like covered in chocolate. There's like a thousand flavors of those. And I swear there's always different flavor every time I go in. That is just a consolation prize with whatever else you're getting, you know? Just have a little snack, you know, try some new chips. Try, you know, there's crazy variety of chips. You know, there's there's like honey butter chips, there's nori flavored chips, which is like the seaweed paper. And then you've got shrimp flavored chips, which I tried once, probably won't be buying again. It's, it's a lot. It's honestly a lot to take in. I love shrimp and I had like three in the whole bag. And we're talking like a bag of chips that I threw away just cause shrimp, you know? Like really shrimp. It's low cost and it's gonna be either amazing or even if you don't like it, like the shrimp chips that are, you know, borderline traumatic, you know, you're out like $3. Moving on, let's talk about the structure of the store really quick. Think about it as just like the international section or like the Asian section of your grocery store, but just the entire store, you know, it's structured in a similar way to like a Publix or a Kroger or whatever you have near where you live to where you know, if you're looking for jasmine rice and all you see is short grain rice, within like a five foot radius of you is gonna be what you're looking for. And then, you know, if you're looking for soba noodles, all you see is udon and ramen. I'm telling you within like three packages to the left, like don't don't quit so easily, you know? You're better than that. And noodles are worth it. Let's just, you know, not overthink it. The structure of the store is just like anything else. If you're looking for something and you feel remotely close, it's probably really close by and just like other grocery stores, the people that are working there want to help you because they want the business to make money so they can get paid. So just ask, they're super nice. Probably the best way to go is to start with a recipe that you have previously tasted and you can sort of use as a baseline. So with that in mind, you can go in there, find the ingredients you need. Let's say it's a red Thai curry, you know, a coconut curry. You can ask someone specifically for a red Thai curry paste and then they'll point you in that direction. And then, you know, while you're at it, if you're thinking about cooking some more Thai food, this is a great opportunity to buy some fish sauce. Now you're well on your way to fleshing out your, you know, your sauce pantry, like I always talk about me having with the soy sauces, the fish sauces, the oyster sauce, all that stuff. I mean, you can cover so much ground in Pan-Asian cuisine with some of those sauces. And then this ties back into the structure, right? We're like, oh, maybe I like something else. Like if you're looking for like, you know, dried chilies for this. And then while you're in that area, you're like, oh, Szechuan peppercorns maybe? So I can make some, some uh, Sichuan Chinese cooking, then boom. I mean, I mean, it's like right there, so you're doing it. I know a lot of these things kind of seem unreachable because of the, the language barrier, but I can assure you that the labeling in some, in some way, I mean, it, it's probably really vague. It's gonna be labeled, there's gonna be like one word that says what it is in English. You know, it might be like barbecue. But if it's, an, and then use some context clues, like, you know, look around, see what's next to it. And it's probably something similar. It's just branded more obscurely because it's mainly consumed in Asia or in that respectful country. Um, so they don't necessarily have to cater to a Western market. But anyway, we're gonna try and combat that with a little familiarity in these com in these uh, grocery stores. But the only way to get there is if you, if you go, you just gotta, you just go. All right, anyway, so moving on, because I don't want to yell at you. So exciting, it's just such an experience to go in there and just be overwhelmed. It's so rare in like, you know, the country of your birth, for example, in America, to just go in a place and feel completely unaware of, of like 90% of what's going on. And I think that's a beautiful thing every now and then. It might be overwhelming at first, but it just means there's so much to learn. There's so much outside of our, you know, common meat and potatoes diet that everyone in uh, America is eating, you know, that makes Asian food so exciting. And that's why I love it. And that's why I try to make you love it. 
because it is amazing. So with that in mind, I hope this inspired you in some way. I hope it gave some insight as to you know, how not to overthink the, the layout or you know the reasons for going. Just like anything, you don't really need a reason to, to do most things. You know, If you like this video and if it gave you any sort of inspiration to take that first step, if you felt like I was the wind in your sails, treading these uncharted waters, which is an Asian grocery store, then I hope you like, comment, and subscribe, and then you ring the bell. I hate saying it, but it does help me a lot with helping my channel grow, and the more my channel grows, the more content like this I can make for you. And that's about it for me. I hope that helped. Uh, I mean, it sounds pretty good to me. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, I don't know.